Traditional sedimentation basins have four zones. One, the influent or inlet zone decreases the velocity of the incoming water and distributes the flow evenly across the basin. Two, the settling zone provides the calm area necessary for the suspended material to settle. Three, the affluent zone provides a smooth transition from the settling zone to the affluent flow area. It's important that currents don't stir up any settled solids and carry them into this area. Four, the final zone is the sludge zone, where settled solids are separated from other particles in the settling zone. There are many variations in design for sedimentation basins. The two most common types are rectangular and circular clarifiers. In a rectangular clarifier, water flows across a rectangular basin. A circular sedimentation basin can be either center-fed or perimeter-fed, where water is introduced to the clarifier in the center or on the perimeter, where the water is allowed to flow unperturbed throughout the basin. Plates and tubes may also be used to increase the surface area available for settling, allowing for increased flow rates and enhanced settling in a smaller basin. As water travels up through them, instead of having to settle as much as 10 or 15 feet, particles have to settle only a matter of inches to reach the surface of a plate or tube. As particles continue to settle out and build up, they can slow down the tube or plate and eventually settle to the bottom of the basin. 